All right, folks, it is September and that means it's elk season. And today we're gonna do a quick little video. I'm gonna take you guys around our elk camp. Gotta just show you around, show you how we got things set up. All right, guys, so I got a question from Rusty Shackelford over on uh, YouTube. He wanted to know about how we come out here for as long as we do, like our, our basically how we set up camp, how we sustain being out here for up to a month. So I'm gonna take you guys around camp and show you how we operate around here. We can live pretty dang nice. We've got a 16 by 20 uh, wall tent from Montana Canvas, which is super, super nice for the whole family. We can spread out in there. It's very spacious. Uh, we've got two cots for the boys, and then we've got a 2XL cot for Liz and I. Um, and we've got a whole kitchen and, and everything set up in here. So let's take a look. All right, so we've got the kitchen area set up here. We've got a fold out, uh, probably a six foot table here. We've got the little camp chef two burner here. We use this all the time at the house for canning, uh, but it comes in really nice here at the, uh, at the elk camp. Again, we've got plastic tubs down here to keep the mice out of stuff that they're not supposed to be in. Um, the kitchen, it, it's inevitable. Things just get piled on the only table that we have. And so it's, it acts kind of like a workstation slash kitchen. I've got my computer set up down there for transferring footage. And uh, we are gonna modify this table. It's, it's very, very slick. And so when you put this plastic cutting board on top of a plastic table, things tend to slide around. And so I think what I'm gonna do is find a thin rubber mat and just contact cement it on one side of this so that when you put something on there, it doesn't stick or, or uh, doesn't slide around. So the tin is big enough. I mean, it's a 16 by 20. It's very, very spacious in here. We've got a nice uh, wood stove here. And when we first got here, we spent one day just getting camp set up. Uh, went ahead and cut enough firewood for the, we thought we were gonna be here for a month. Turned out we were here for just a few days and I was able to kill an elk. And so uh, we're packing up and somebody's gonna get a bunch of free uh, firewood. But uh, got all that ready to go right here for the wood stove and this wood stove heats this thing up keeps it nice and warm uh, and it's actually pretty doggone efficient you can take this uh, the damper and close it down and you can fill this thing up at night you still got wood in the morning so all you got to do is throw a couple pieces on there and get it going again uh, i've got two strings of paracord up here and making sure that i've run this right by the uh the wood stove here it, so when you come in your clothes are wet you can hang them up here and especially during late season this is important uh, hang your clothes up here hang your boots up here get everything dried out overnight so that you're good to go for the next day but we've got pretty much all of our clothes hung up uh, on this clothesline again this is one for or organization and then two to keep the mice out of things mice love to chew through clothing and I've got uh, I've had quite a few pair of pants ruined uh, by mice when I've just left them on the ground, so I've learned that lesson. Did that happen on the lawn? Um, yeah, they chewed that hole right there. Right there. So one other thing that I did uh, when I first got here, I took two paracord loops and put them right here to hang my bow right here. So what this does, first of all, it keeps it out of the way, and then secondly, mice again they love to chew things they will chew they they like your string silencers uh they pluck all that stuff out use it for nesting material they can cut your bow string so i always hang my bow up uh, just so the mice can't get to it and it's out of the way so we've got all our cots set up here towards the uh the back end of the tent and you can see we've got rugs between the cots the rugs are super super nice when you're getting up in the middle of the night um, and so I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> the boys each have their own cot and then Liz and I both sleep on this one. This is a, a double X or triple X. It's a massive cot. And so there's plenty of room. Uh, we've got on ours, we've got one of these memory foam, uh, mattress topper things for a double bed or a single. I can't remember. But that's super nice. You can roll it up fairly tight. Uh, and, the boat, and the kids both have uh, thermarests on theirs. So we've got two, two different coolers here. 
this cooler here has got all of our frozen stuff and it. it's got meat um, I mean mostly meat ba basically in here and so you need good coolers uh, these are Orion coolers I don't even know if they I don't even think they make these anymore uh, but like Yeti, uh, there's a lot of different premium coolers. They're not cheap, but when you're coming out here for multiple weeks, it, it's, it's important to have a good cooler unless you have access to ice and you can just keep going back and get nice. For us, that's not an option out here. Um, and so when we come out here, you know, we plan on being here basically for the entire season. So that could be three plus weeks of being out here and we need to be able to keep things cool. And so what we do is uh, we'll pre-cook a lot of stuff. Um, so chicken and uh, rice and uh, a lot of the meat and stews and things like that. We'll pre-cook those things, put them in bags, throw them in the freezer, uh, freeze all that stuff, and then pre-cool the coolers. Uh, so fill them up with ice or at least put some ice or ice blocks in them, get them cooled down. Uh, and then the morning that we take off, we'll take all that stuff out, pack them with all the frozen stuff that we're, that we're going to take out here, shut it, and then put it in the shady spot, cover it up with something. So during the day, I'll have this. This is our tent bag. I'll throw this on here and open that frozen cooler as little as possible. And in a good cooler like this, you can keep things frozen for weeks at a time, especially when it's getting down relatively cool at night. It's been getting down into the mid thirties, which is still pretty warm, but as the season goes on, it's going to cool off and start uh, getting colder and colder. So this is the cooler that's just got uh, the things like lettuce, eggs, you know, milk, stuff that we're going to be uh, using on a daily basis. And so we're going to be opening and closing this. Now, when it gets cold, when it starts freezing at night, we'll actually crack this open and let it cool off inside the cooler and then close this thing during the day so it retains that, uh, retains that coolness. So this big box, this is a big army surplus box here, um, we keep all of our bread and you know basically anything that can get into or that the mice can get into uh, luckily this year the, the mice haven't been too bad but they can be terrible so anything nothing gets left out on the counters uh, everything goes into a box like this uh, so that they don't chew it up and, and get into stuff that they're not supposed to so as far as water goes uh, we've got one of these aquatainers and then we've got a platypus gravity feed bag so you, it's got a dirty side and a clean side we just fill that up and then put the clean side into this and just let that drain um, this creek is pretty high elevation glacial fed you you could probably drink right out of this creek uh, the only reason and i do that i drink straight out of the creeks when i'm up in the mountains uh, but the reason that I filter this water down here is because there are other people camping on this creek and there have been cattle around and those two things are, uh, that's really where Cryptosporidium and Giardia come from and you don't want that. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that look around camp. I have got some great, great footage from this year's elk hunt, so look for an elk hunting video coming up very soon. So we've also got some other very cool videos coming up this fall. We're gonna be doing some meat processing. Uh, we're gonna be canning a lot of this elk. And so we're gonna do a video covering that. Uh, we're gonna be doing some gear review type stuff. And then also I've got a series of videos coming out that I did in conjunction with the guys uh, from the Vortex Nation podcast where they came down, built some bows, and we're gonna go through that whole process. We're gonna build the bows. We're gonna go out, cut bow wood go shoot them and, uh, and different things like that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. And we'll see you guys on the next one.